All right. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome uh, all. Welcome all. Season six, episode seven, The Broken Man today. The broken Man. What could so, that possibly mean? Last time you had hoped that it was the High Sparrow, just the body of the High Sparrow broken in half, right? Yes. That sounds good. <laughs> okay. That sounds like uh, So that's I what we're believe. hoping for today. Um, Absolutely. That's what we want. Yeah. We yeah. want a dead person. We are, uh, well, you know, it's Game of Thrones. Likely we'll get one here soon. We didn't, I don't think anyone died so. last episode, except for a whole bunch of, except for a whole bunch of, you know, undead Previously white dead stuff. people. Yeah, previously dead people. Um, so, hey, that's all right. That's all right. Yeah. We need them dead again. And we need the High Sparrow <laughs> as part of it. Super dead. We need him uh, super dead. Well, let's see if that happens this time. Uh, let's go ahead and dive on in. Three, I'm excited. Two, one, me too. One guy carrying that. Uh huh. Well, because oh, of because uh, of the guy that it is. It's because of the guy that it is. <laughs> oh, for God. Maybe it's the Lord of Light, or maybe they're all the same fucking thing. I don't know. <laughs> what matters, I believe. Is that there's something great? It's the original Joel Olstein here. And whatever right? it is, it's got plans for Sandor Clegane. You didn't know me back in my time. I've heard stories. <laughs> if the gods are real, why haven't they punished me? Maybe they did. Look at your face. They have. The Book of the Mother, Your Holiness. Chapter 3, verse 12. So what, she's got her crown on it? She's still in this fucking room? Are you kidding me with this? A mother sings her son to sleep. You learn quickly. Yeah, there are some who know every verse of the sacred text. This bitch don't is have a drop of the mother's crazy. In their blood. Pretended to love the poor, the afflicted. I had pity for them, but I never loved them. They disgusted me. Oh my, no, this is so. Here she's fucking around. The poor disgust us because they are. <laughs> she's, she's, she's the man. Okay, I, I've still got my respect for her. She's still playing the game here. You think so? Oh yeah, she would never. That wasn't true. She didn't. Wasn't disgusted by the poor. Can I ask you about a personal matter? Oh, of course you are. Oh, of course, High Sparrow. Yes. How can I help you? The king mentioned that since your reunion, you haven't joined him in the marriage bed. No. You have a duty, Your Grace. The desires that once drove me no longer do. Congress does not require desire on the woman's part. <laughs> Only patience. The king oh, must gosh. have an heir. Oh, my if we are God. to continue our good work. Sometimes the true path is hard to find. Hard to find and harder still to walk. But you She's like, don't fucking touch me. I only pray your grandmother follows your lead. You must teach her the new way, or I fear for her safety. Body and soul. Oh. <laughs> she's going to take that as a threat. No, you don't threaten no Lance Tyrell. I want to speak with you alone. Scepter Unella has been my true friend and counselor. Oh, oh, this is madness. All I have to do is whistle, and my men will stroll in here and bash you Grandma. about until <laughs> I tell them to stop. If I tell them to stop, oh. Use Bashing. Grandmother, please. They showed mercy. What about your brother? What mercy did they show him? Loris's only hope is to confess his crimes and repent. You will leave for High Garden today. There is no law that says you mm -hmm. must stay here. I am the queen. It is my duty to serve my husband, the king. She's trying to convince them no matter what. You should leave, Grandmother. Yeah. Your place is at home. Oh, home. The mother watches over us all. Mm -hmm. There's the girl I knew. <laughs> and there it is. What does that mean? Uh, that is the symbol of their house. I need you with me if we're going to beat them, and we need to beat them if you're going to survive. That's probably true. Right? The crows killed him because he spoke for the free folk where no other southerners would. He died. Uh, there you go. Yeah, this guy's been a good friend of his. I mean, he's been. Him. We're cowards. And if that's what we, are, <laughs> we deserve to be the last of the free folk. The mountain will stand up, or this big ass thing will stand, and he says, <laughs> I will be there. I follow Jon Snow. No. 
No. He stabs him. <laughs> <laughs> Again. It's just like that same scene. It just says, stab him. <laughs> for the watch. Yeah. Tormund. You're not clever like your southerners. We say we'll do something. We do it. Your grandson is still a prisoner. You'll leave him rotting in a cell. Loras rots in a cell because of you. I made a terrible mistake. Ooh. I carry it with me every single day. That's surprising. Good. How much she expected? We delivered an army of fanatics onto our doorstep. And now we must fight them together. We need each other. That's true. I wonder if you're the worst person I've ever met. <laughs> Does that mean it's hard to recall? But the truly vile do stand out through the years. <laughs> the way you smirked at me when my grandson and granddaughter were dragged off to their cells. We must defend them. I'm leaving this wretched city as fast as I can before that shoeless zealot throws me into one of his cells. <laughs> You're half as bright as you think you are. You'll find a way out of here, too. Never. I'll never leave my cell. <laughs> You're surrounded by enemies, thousands of them. You're going to kill them all by yourself? You've lost, Cersei. It's the only joy I could find in all this misery. <laughs> She's so great. Not me. I'm just an upjumped cell sword. You're an annoyance of knights. That's quite a difference. Aye, knights don't get paid. You have better instincts than any officer in the Lannister army. That's like saying I have a bigger cock than anyone in the Unsullied army. <laughs> I expect to command all the Lannister forces before long. You promise me a lordship and a castle and a highborn beauty for a wife. And you'll get all three. <laughs> a Lannister always Don't pays... say it. We have Lord Edmure! Yield the castle, or we'll hang him! They already thought he was dead. Oh. And there's the blackfish. Last warning! Yield the castle. Uh. Or I cut his throat. Go on then, cut his throat. <laughs> <laughs> My right. god. Edmure is a prisoner of House Frey. Only a fool makes threats he's not prepared to carry out. Well, let's say I threatened to hit you unless you shut your mouth, but you kept talking. What do you think I'd do? I don't give a rap. <laughs> I'm here by the king's command to take back this castle. Have him bathed and fed. Unless you'd like to take his place. I remember when you were born, my lady. You were named for my Aunt Liana. It was said she was a great beauty. I'm sure you will be too. I doubt it. My mother wasn't a great beauty or any other kind of beauty. She was a great warrior, though. She died fighting for your brother, Rob. I served under your uncle at Castle Black, Lady Liana. I was his steward. In fact, I... I think we've had enough small talk. Why are you here? Love her. She's so, so strong. So strong. at Castle Black before he marched on Winterfell and was killed. I've come with my sister to ask for House Mormont's allegiance. As far as I understand, you're a snow. And Lady Sandra is a Bolton. Where's she Lannister? I've heard conflicting reports. <laughs> I did what I had to do to survive, my lady. In any case, you don't just want my allegiance, you want my fighting men. Ramsay Bolton cannot be allowed to keep Winterfell, my lady. It is our duty to stop him, even more so because he holds oh our God, brother... Ramsay, we haven't seen him in a while, he's a nut job. Right? What you have to understand, my lady, is that... I understand that I'm responsible for Bear Island and all who live here. So why should I sacrifice one more moment life for someone else's war? This isn't someone else's war. It's our war. He's always so learned. Yeah. Go on, Sir He's Davos. great. Your uncle, Lord Commander Mormont, made that man his steward. He chose John to be his successor mm -hmm. because he knew he had the courage to do what was right. Because Geo Mormont and Jon Snow both understood that the real war isn't between a few squabbling houses. It's between the living and the dead. And make no mistake, my lady. The dead are coming. coming. Ah. Uh-huh. Is this true? Yes, of course that's true. That's why we're here, fool. The first men. I fought them hard home. We both lost. How small Mont has kept faith with House Stark for a thousand years. We will not break faith today. <laughs> Thank you, my lady. How many fighting men can we expect? Sixty-two. Sixty-two. Yeah. We're not a large house, but we're a proud one. 
and every man from Bear Island fights with the strength of ten mainlanders. If they're half as ferocious as their lady, the Boltons are doomed. Mm. <laughs> Kingslayer. <laughs> Blackfish. This castle belongs to House Frey. You're trespassing. In the name mm. of King Thomas, I order you to surrender. Or, or you'll kill Edmure. But if you surrender, I'll spare the lives of your men. I was born in this castle, and I'm ready to die in it. So you can either attack, or try to starve us out. We have enough provisions for two years. Do you have two years, Kingslayer? <laughs> you clearly have no intention of saving your men's lives. Why did you come treat with me? Sieges are dull. And I wanted to see you in person, get the measure of you. <laughs> well, now you have. I. Now I have. I'm disappointed. You're asking me to join your army. Who is fighting in this army? Well, just one so far, but you're our second the Bokan choice. The force is made up of wildlings. <laughs> uh huh. And the rumors are true. I received you out of respect for your father. House Glover will not abandon its ancestral home to fight alongside wildlings. I would remind you that House Glover is pledged to House Stark. Right. We wept when we heard of your father's death. And where was <sighs> King Rob when the Ironborn attacked this castle? Taking up with a foreign whore, getting himself and those who followed him killed. <laughs> Well, that's kind of true. Yeah. I served House Stark once, but House Stark is dead. You escaped, you hear me? She's going to get him out. Get away and you're never going back. If you're so broken that there's no coming <laughs> back, take a knife and cut your wrists. We're going to sail to Marine. We're going to make a pact with this Dragon Queen. <laughs> and we're going to take back the Iron Islands. Are you with me? Yeah, beefy on, beefy on. I cut that young boy's throat myself as his mother screamed. Good friend God. Her back. That night. Let me show you how I did it. Ah! Shame. Shame was so Seems like a changed man, me. though. I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. All I could do was stare into that dark sky and listen to that mother screaming her son's name. I know I can never bring that lad back. All I can do with time I've got left is bring a little goodness into the world. It's never too late to come back. <laughs> Maybe he's gonna reach him. What are you doing here? Well, we're talking about life. You? Protecting the people. Oh, we thank you for your protection. Stay safe. The night is dark and full of terrors. <laughs> oh. I'm a fucking septum. What was I supposed to say? They don't believe in your seven <laughs> from the Brotherhood. What do you want to do? Kill Fight them. Kill them? I'm done with fighting. Even if it's to protect yourself. You're Westerosi. What do you care? <laughs> to book passage home. Can't afford it. Leaving two days. You can have a hammock in steerage. I want a cabin, and we'll leave at dawn. See you at sunrise. <laughs> oh boy, here it is. Yeah? You think so? Yes. Sweet girl. Well, that fight didn't go how you wanted. No, damn it. Yowza. They all just stare at her. Why would anybody help? Good lord, that didn't take them long, did it? Right? Good god. <sighs> that there are some people in the world that I guess are just evil. Oh, they hung the guy, I bet. <sighs> Well, he's pissed. Big mistake, guys. Yep. I think there could be a couple arguments for who the episode, you know, who in the episode is the broken man. Sander Clegane is, is one of them. <laughs> yeah, right? he's clearly pretty broken. I mean, um, he doesn't know what to do. 
Um, we also tries, got the tries to, Theon. you know, yeah, Theon. It's probably, I mean, it's kind of a little bit of both, probably more it's Theon. It's both, right? It's both. Yeah, but I hope both of them come out of this. The Hound was trying to actually be, it seemed like a decent human being. Like, he, it, the Hound's always been a pretty decent guy. Like, I mean, he's done some bad things. He's done some but, terrible things. Wow. Well, uh, you judging him like a maniac. No, well, okay, look. First, <laughs> first season, the like first thing that we see is he, he murders that boy that was Arya's friend. Well, yeah. I, yeah. At the order of the king, but still, he was the king's right. dog. He did whatever he was told. Just like that guy was, just like that priest was saying. Yeah. Right? They say kill, he kills. He got out of there what he needed, I think. Yeah. Uh, We're going to be back next week for episode eight. Again, nearing the end of the season here. Um, What's episode eight called? uh, Episode eight is called No One. So this will be the episode where Arya gets what she wants because she's going to say something crazy when she slits that bitch's throat. <laughs> and she should. Say oh, crazy man. When she slits that yeah, throat. that fight did not go. Uh, well, uh, Arya wasn't expecting it, of course. Yeah, it wasn't really a fight. I feel like, I don't know how you go through a house like that, like the House of Black and White, where they've got all the faces on the wall and you realize that these assassins can become anyone. How do you not just become paranoid walking around the street like anyone you see? Uh, at that point, could be somebody right. else. What Theon's sister said to him, either get your shit together or slit your wrists and get out of here. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. You are, but you're going to get your stuff together and you're, you're going to you're, you're gonna bring gonna your... You're going to be better. <laughs> well, thank you, everybody, for putting thank up with all. another episode with us. Uh, <laughs> we love you guys. We'll see you next week. Uh, and as always, I'm Josh Dawes. I'm Josh Driscoll. And we're the Wester Bros. Bye. See you next time. Hey guys, I hope you liked that episode as much as we did. <sighs> it was a good one. Thanks so much for watching with us today. Oh man. Yeah, if you really like us, yeah. then like us, subscribe to us, and ring the bell. I have no idea. To be notified. The right here, oh, I have no idea either, but do one of the click things. The buttons, Actually, do and all then of check them. us out on Patreon. Patreon. That's right.